Today, everyone is looking for quick solutions to improve their appearance. Not to mention easy solutions mm -hmm. as well. Western Mass News reporter Jordan Jagelinzer has a look at dry brushing skin, something that's catching a lot of people's attention for supposedly being quick and easy, Jordan. That's right, Chris and Brittany. The idea of dry brushing is that the fibers in the brush will help exfoliate the skin, removing dead cells while increasing circulation. But the question is, is it too good to be true? Easy, cheap, quick and effective. Is it even possible? It could be with dry brushing. These brushes you see on your screen can be found just about everywhere and claim to exfoliate, decrease cellulite and remove skin's toxins. It's hard to believe. Coming in at around only $5 to $20 on the high end, this could be a skin junkie's dream. Or is it? The skin is very delicate, especially during the winter time. Dr. Yolanda Lenzi from Lenzi Dermatology tells Western Mass News that while the beauty technique can have benefits, it's not for everyone. Well, there's no evidence that, you know, cellulite, really anything can help cellulite. What Lenzi says it does help with is exfoliation. If it's something that people want to try to see if it can help exfoliate a lot of their skin, you could try it. But people with sensitive skin, including eczema and psoriasis, should avoid dry brushing. You go and brush that, that's going to lead to even more problems. And while using the brush on the skin will temporarily stimulate circulation, it's not a solution to removing bodily toxins. Removing dead skin cells will help improve the release of toxins, helping overall skin health. However, it shouldn't be overdone. You no know, more than like once a week. Dr. Lindsay recommends people who choose to incorporate dry brushing into their skin regimen limit initial use to avoid any irritation. In the studio for Western Mass News, I'm Jordan Jaglinzer.